Oh my god, here comes another one. I can't believe it. Ah! Twins! Twinsies! Imprint of the world! What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Playing some Ark Survival Evolved on the Pooping Evolved Extinction server. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me, ladies and gentle peeps. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget, show your support, smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new and you haven't already, subscribe if you like what you see. You guys, you might remember this tape jar from such episodes as the last episode that I published that I just stopped recording about a half an hour ago. Ah, uh, yeah. So we're recording ahead for Christmas stuff and things. You guys, my family's coming down to visit me, and I'm very excited to have them here. I definitely want to spend some time with them. So I'm recording some videos in advance just to let you guys know. It's very close to Christmas. I hope you've all been good. I hope no one's about to get coal or poop in their stocking. That wouldn't be very cool, man. So... I hope you guys as well are able to to be with your family or your friends or somebody that, that you love. I hope that that's something that you're able to do. Um, and yeah, so I'm just glad. I'm just, I'm feeling a little thankful. I'm thankful that my family is able to come down. I really do miss them. I'm excited to see them. So, but today we are arcing stuff and things. It is happening, ladies and gentlemen. How much time until I can make you hump again? Two hours. What? That's not okay. So, um, talking about some snow owls, well, I'm going to talk to you guys about some snow owls. Bashka was nice enough to drop off not one, not two, not three, but four fertilized snow owl eggs. Let's go over here like so, into here like so. Uh, don't eat it. Drop it. Okay. Incubating. Oh, 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 it's almost done. Oh. Oh, it's going to come right now. They're coming right now. It's a baby snow owl, so cool! And it's white and blue, you're amazing! Uh, behavior, disable wandering. Let's go inside of here like so. Squirt 50 of those deals on you. You stay right there. Nailed an ace that can't be stopped. Next, nah, don't consume. Dropping it. Oh my god, here comes another one. I can't believe it. Ah, twins! Twinsies! Imprint. Imprint. Dude, we got so many snow owls now. I don't have enough meat for all you guys. Like so, like so, inside of here. Behavior, disable wandering, behavior. Dude, so many snow owls. We're gonna need to grab some more meat. I wanna make sure I put 50 meat on each one. Uh, let's just go ahead and grab, like so, split that stack. I'm assuming, oh, oh, hey guys. I'm assuming that we can't get twins again. Uh, there's no way we could possibly get twins. Don't, don't eat it, Slip Gator. Don't eat it. Just drop it. All right, here it comes. Oh, an even more bluer one. Oh, my God. They're amazing. Disable wandering. Squirt that guy right up over there. And one left. Big moment. Big bucks. No whammies. Don't consume the egg. Just drop it. And another bluer one. Amazing. Look at them all, man. We'll squirt that guy inside of there. Behavior, disable wandering. One, two, three, four, five baby snow owls. It looks like these guys. 210, 210, 210, 213, 213. 2,700 health, 1,500 stamina, 325 melee damage. These guys look amazing. All right, you guys, we got to try to get you out of here. Come on. The baby snow owl army. Oh, my God. They're so cute. All right, we're going to bring these guys over here like so. There's some other stuff and things that we're going to get into today as well, guys. Um, we've added a couple of mods to the server. I know I've talked about it a few times. We added in the S Plus stuff, mostly quality of life stuff. S Plus, um, we've added in, uh, we're using the S Plus teleporters a little bit more now just because it's convenient for moving around the map, which is so big. And then we're also, um, we're trying to use the S Plus item collector we were really trying to keep the server to have the minimal the, the least amount of mods that we could and still kind of like be able to play without huge amounts of uh, waiting around and that sort of hassle that happens sometimes um and we couldn't really do it so one of the other things that we had to add was the derp stuff and things so this mod's called derp uh the derp crafting station right here used to create all the derp resources first and foremost i love derp uh i'm pretty much a super uh, amazing fan of the fact that it says derp uh, and the only thing that I'm really super interested in using from that mod is this guy right here. Uh, the derp. It's just called 
Derp. <laughs> I was like, is that the name? Just Derp? It's the Dropped Earthquake Resource Pickup Module will perform regular resource monitoring to high and low value targets and obtain them. Chernobyl powered for your convenience. Look at them all. Here they come. The slowest snow owl army of all time. Dude, these guys look so cool, man. We'll try to bring them out all over here. Get them in a nice little line. And then I'm going to try to get a, like a killer little snow owl army screenshot. Come over here, guys. Look how cute they are. They're all doing their little snow owl things. Oh, my God. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let's do an unfollow. We got to, I got to try to get this one guy right there. Okay. You follow me back here. Come on. You can do it. You, you're just the one derp, dude. You're the one derpy one. Come over here. Okay. And then no, a little bit this way. Okay. Stop. You're the one derpy one. There's nothing we can do about it. There's going to be a derpy one. Hold on here. You guys watch this, man. This is how you make professional screenshot stuff and things. There's four. There, there's the screenshot right there. Stop. Stop pecking at my toes. Ow. Ow. Stop doing that. Hey, stop doing that, guys. Okay, I'm inside of you. Uh, There it is right there. Our unbelievable and amazing screenshot. Also, look at them grow. Uh -huh, uh -huh. See them popping up? <laughs> if you look down at the ground real quick, your hands will disappear. Mm, you didn't know that, did you? There they come back in. Isn't it creepy how they come back in? They're like, you want tickles for nickels? Here come my hands, kids. There they are. <laughs> All right. So these guys look super amazing, man. I'm super excited about them. Thank you so much to Bashka for, uh, for providing those owls for us. They're very, very cool. And they're going to be great. They're going to be great for doing owly things, especially feeding our gotchas pellets, which is the main thing that I'm interested in doing. Um with these guys so they're all not on follow staying right over there we have 800 meat ready to rock and roll so they'll have plenty of food the tape jar uh you can see is troughing he's eating off the trough and these guys will be pretty soon as well all right let's talk about this derp deal here so first and foremost we're gonna have to make the derp crafting station uh am i gonna have to type in d period yes i am all right, this guy right here. What are the requirements here? Oh, hide metal stone wood. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Hot derp crafting station action is happening. He's done it. All right, so inside of here now, if we pop over. Oh, I did make this guy too an auto crafter. I'll tell you more about those if we actually ever use them. Um, I don't think that we're going to use too many. So we're going to squirt this guy over here. Look how cool it looks, man. I love the derp crafting station. I love that this has got a whimsical feel to it. Uh, wait, did I hear a hatch? I swear I just heard something hatch. Larry, did you hatch a baby? You just pooped, didn't you? Larry, I'm trying to make a video here, Larry. Oh, you got levels? Larry, 19 levels? Get that health game on, Larry. How many HPs do you got now? 1,700? 400. <laughs> Okay, let's check this bad ombre out right here. Pull those resources, build this bad ombre right there. Take over here, pull these resources, build us that bad ombre. Let's go, team. All right, he's done it. This this guy and this guy. All right, first and foremost, what does this what does this little guy look like? Oh man, I thought it would have some derpy stuff on it. I mean, it does look kind of ba. It's kind of got that Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome vibe going on. I'm liking it. Feels good, team, but not as ba as I thought it would be. I thought at least they'd have the derp thing on it. So let's go ahead and squirt that away. Now, this is the piece of resistance. This is really... No, not you. This guy right here is what we're really interested in. And I'm feeling like what I'm going to do is pick this guy... Wait, is there anything inside of there? No. All right. So we're going to pick this auto crafter up uh, like so. And then... Oh, yeah. We get... Wait. We get this back? Okay. We get a table back. When you make the auto crafter... This might be a little bit confusing. But you can make an auto crafter and you can turn it into anything you want. So we had a smithy in there to turn this auto crafter into a smithy. Um, all right, so put this guy away, get this guy out. Why am I not putting this guy away? There we go. All right, I feel like right over here is gonna be the perfect spot. How's the alignment? Looks good. Good team. Back like right about there. And I think this thing looks amazing. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, there it is. Wow, dude. Oh no. The range is nowhere near as big as I thought it was. Can we alter that? Okay, first and foremost, this looks amazing. It's made of plasma, obviously. Uh, pick up the derp, demolish, turn off collection, access inventory, disable ring, enable egg. Uh, 
Rename the derp, unlock, pick up, demolish, turn off. Dude, that's as far as it goes. Hmm. Well, I was really hoping that it would do a bigger area of the base. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So then that way we could maybe put all of our, you know, gotchas around the outside edge. They do have to be pretty far apart. Um, it didn't see in there where it said I could change the range. Let me just double check again just to make sure. Turn off collection. Enable fertilized egg. We'll enable that. All right. Enable poop. We don't want it to pick up per poop. So poop, egg, disable the ring, uh, access inventory, disabled egg, unlock, rename. All right. So uh, we can disable the ring right there. And then we can enable the ring. All right. So we want this thing to be somewhere where it's actually going to work. So I don't think we can have it over here in our base unless we move a bunch of our guys to different areas. Um, and we can do that. We can move some guys. Right now, the reason that we have them the way that we have them is just so that they'll be spread out. Um, but for right now, for testing purposes, I feel like maybe over in the this really type area would be a good place. So let's squirt finger butt over here. Dude, you got levels? Are we about to hit it? 10,002? 9,800. So close to 10,000 oxygen on finger butt. Um, now let's go ahead and see about getting Ducky Mouse and our other guys all lined up in this really type area. Jump them, man. Jump. Can't jump. Over here. Move these guys over here. Now I'm wondering if it'll pick up the pellets. I'm wondering how this will even work. I'm wondering if it'll even... Yeah, if it picks up the pellets, that actually could be bad. I'd rather it didn't pick up the pellets. I don't know if that's something we can change. So we're totally testing this out to see how it's going to work. Um, they are inside the ring, the sphere of influence, although we kind of can't see it. They definitely are. Uh, let's go ahead and disable the ring here, like so. And then let's just access the inventory of it. So far, nothing inside of here. Now, uh, if we were to just say drop like this on the ground. Whoa. It, wow, that was a, that was amazing. Like instantaneously, that thing got picked up like you never saw. That was so cool, man. All right, so Ducky Mouse, let's talk about what we got going on over here. 14 levels straight into crafting skill. Like so. Uh, Jimmy Girl, did you get a level as well? Ooh. Give you that level. Uh, that's Jimmy Girl. What about Breezy? Did you get any levels? Nothing. Uh, Anarchist, you got any levels? Nothing. Uh, and Whizzle? What do you got for levels there? Eight levels. Uh, there you go, buddy. And then Bruce Willis. What do you got going on over here? 15 levels. 140, 153 crafting skill at 148 level. 172 crafting skill, 235 level. So Ducky Mouse is still our best bet, our best hope for stuff and things. Uh, now, let's go ahead and do a test here. We're going to grab uh, crafting, and then let me see if we make some maps. War maps like so. Can we make 100? All right. Here's the fun part. 100 war maps. Let's go, team. I might actually make a few more. I might make a bunch. Um, I want to have him start doing some more stuff and things. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I want him to go ahead and create some more stuff. We want these guys to be always constantly working to make stuff. Oh, also, let's just double check inside of here for production. What do we want? We've got a decent amount of oil now, I think. Flint fiber, crystal, oil, black pearls. I'm going to keep you on black pearls, homie. Um, all right. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and craft up 100 war maps. And I'll be our beast peeps. Okay. We are back. 100 war maps. Let's go, team. How's your weight doing? Oh, this might be a little bit heavy. All right, we'll put 100 in there. Those guys right there like so. These guys right here, 70 more. Can you fit those in there, big on bad hombre? Oh, dude, the crystal has come out of its butt. There's the crystal. It's right there. Dude. Oh, no. No, it's not collecting it. You're kidding me. There's the crystal. Why aren't you collecting the crystal? Do we have to turn on poop? Enable poop. He's done it! It's considered gacha poop! Do they poop out crystals? Oh my god! Wait, 10 war maps? Where did I... What, did I drop 10 war maps somewhere along the way? Let me go ahead and grab these guys. We'll stick them inside of here like so. Dude, that's awesome. It just like picks up everything, man. All right, can I fit the rest of these maps on you as well? Like so? Like so? We can only put 44 up. 
All right, so now we go like this. Now he has the buff, right? Okay, he has the buff. He's eating stuff and things. He's pooping out the crystals. Two crystals have been created. Let's check our crystal checker deal. Two crystals have been eaten. Now, let me see here. These are just the yieldy regular gacha crystals, um, not the special ones. And we're looking for those um, ascendant items. It's definitely what we want. He's got a good amount of maps on him right now. Uh, I'm going to let him work through these guys. I'm probably going to go ahead and start crafting up more. That's all I can fit. So I'm probably going to go ahead and start crafting up more war maps. I want to go ahead and make a ton of crystals. Um, I'm wondering, do you guys think we should just use just Ducky Mouse? I mean, he has the best crafting skill. I don't feel like we really need to use anybody else unless... Silk, Blue Crystal... Yeah, see, he doesn't really have anything that I want. Let's pop over here while he's doing his thing. Sergeant C Mofo, what do you got going on over here, buddy? You got some levels? 15 levels? 158.1 crafting skill, production, sand thatch stone, clay, silica pearls, and sap. Use some silica pearls, maybe. Let's see what our bad ombre friend over here, Manifest, has going on. I bet you've got some levels, dude. 12 more levels over here. That's 163 crafting. Sulfur, blue crystallized sap crystal. We don't really need any of this either. I think I'm just going to stick with this guy on where it is. Uh, we'll just use Ducky Mouse just because um, he has the production that we need. Just having a thought there for a second. But he has the production that he need, that we need. We need black pearls and oil the most. Um, let me check really quickly. Hold on. No! Does it not pick up the good ones? No! Wait, did it do it? Okay, it must just do it. It must take a second sometimes. I might have enabled poop just at the exact same time that it it was making a sweep. So I'm not sure if I didn't need to enable the poop. Um, I can try it. We can just disable it and see how it works out. Um, so yeah, I think we'll just use Ducky Mouse. But I do want to check really quickly. Uh, let me see here. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I think I need inventory assistant. Uh, well, let's go like this. If we pop inside of here and click that like this. And then we take a look at some of our stuff and things. Oil? All right. We have a huge amount of oil. 3,000. And then black pearls? Not that many. All right. So I'm glad we have them set for black pearls. We'll go ahead and done there and done there. Um, we'll keep him on the black pearl train. I went ahead and disabled poop. I think it's still collected. Is that the third crystal? No. More than that. Fifth crystal. And it looks like, no, regular, regular, regular. One ascended piece. We got one piece of ascendant gear. So, yeah, I'm very excited to do some stuff and things because what I think we're going to do next is, oh, the server's backing up. We're going to go ahead and start playing around with another S plus piece of machinery and tech here. Uh, if we click inside of here, blueprint maker. Wait, what? There it is right there. The S plus blueprint maker. This is crafted in your inventory, I think. Like so, like so, and like so. And what this guy's going to allow us to do, I think, I've never used it, uh, but I do believe that what we'll be able to do with this is take some items that we've already crafted. Oh, look at this, man. It's so cute and little. We can stick it right over here. Now, if we go inside of here, and let's take, for instance, this gun. Oh, wait, what? I don't know how to use this item. Uh, it's not working like I thought. Let's blew it up right here. Convert structures into blueprints, but not rifles? Come on, man. Why won't you do my rifle? Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Level 15 enforcer. What are you doing over here, man? So check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Some stuff and things have happened. Now, this uh, this doesn't work the way that I thought. I thought this would may allow me to make anything into a blueprint, but it doesn't work that way. It allows you to make S plus, I think it's only uh, structures into blueprints um i don't know if we have another way to make blueprints out of the current stuff we have i also built the converter over here this allows us to convert s plus stuff into i think non s plus stuff there you can see now this is just regular or we can convert it back to make it into an s plus thing and like i said this guy over here we could put this inside and then bloop it and then there you go we have the blueprint for the s plus stone gateway drop it on the ground don't need it um, so that's pretty cool. I did build a couple other S plus things over here. We built the hatchery and I built the nanny. Now I'm pretty sure I need bee honey for this to work. 
Um, I'm a little bit confused about exactly how it works. And I haven't really used it. I used it a while ago in a series, and I never really got it to work the right way. But it says, acts as a feeding trough for babies, imprints on nearby non-adult dinos, requires giant bee honey. If you go inside of here, though, and you look for the nanny, this says, uh, will raise imprint value of non-nearby adult dinos, can place preserving salt in inventory, and then it says can use tech generator or honey for fuel, will automatically use fuel if no power is available. So I'm guessing that it's working. It says powered. So I'm guessing that it is working. And this guy over here as well, I do believe will do both. Now the hatchery is pretty rad. This thing allows us to help. It helps us out with our egg stuff and things. Uh, where is that? They're right there. Collects fertilized eggs. Won't pick up eggs at or below 1% incubation. And then it incubates eggs in its inventory and only incubates them to 1%. So that's how when you see, oh, it says boost egg production of nearby dinos. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it means that they can mate more frequently or if it means that you get multiple eggs. And it says can you use the tech generator for fuel. So we have that. Now, let's see here. An hour and 31 minutes. Now, if I like. Oh, now it's active. Oh, now stuff and things are happening. An hour and 31 minutes. So maybe it will reset the timer after it mates the next time. Or maybe it makes you produce multiple eggs. So this guy, this guy's active. The nanny's active. Uh, this guy now is active. We don't really need it to be active until we have eggs. So we'll just stick it over there like so. And it looks like, dude, are all these guys imprinted now? Imprinting 35%. It's automatically imprinting them for us, which is amazing. I did get to cuddle with the tape jar, and we got its imprinting up to 100% on this guy. So that guy's going to be unbelievable and amazing. I did make another 100 uh, war maps, and, uh, and Ducky Mouse is continuing to squirt out stuff and things. Let's check how many crystals we've got here. A lot. Oh! Snow Owl Egg. You know what I'm going to do with it? Just gonna eat it! Ha ha ha! Oh, dude, I can't even throw away our blueprint. We need a trash can now for all this stuff. Um. Oh, what do we got over here? A dodo egg. You know what? I'm gonna leave those eggs inside of there. I definitely am. And then let's check out our gacha. Ooh, this isn't looking too good. I think we got two ascendant pieces and two journeymen. The rest of these are just crystals. And it doesn't look like these war maps are working quite so good. I wonder if there was a nerf or something. Because he's already gone through, what, 270? And we've only got two ascendant pieces of gear, which kind of stinks. What are you? What is that? That's weird. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like maybe a foundation or a fence foundation or something. We'll never look at it again. Don't say anything. All right. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make some more war maps. I want to see what's going on. I'm definitely glad we did some of the stuff, guys, because you can see, like, with some episodes, things kind of drag on a little bit. When we start adding in some of these quality of life upgrades, it really makes it so you can kind of do stuff. You can get logged into a game. Play for a couple of hours, two or three hours, and you can get a lot of stuff done. It feels really good to kind of play the game that way. For me, I like it that way quite a bit. So, um, very excited about our new snow owls. Very excited about our tip jar. Oh, it's done! Nailed it, Ace. It can't be stopped. Inside of there like so. Hot stamina action. Let's go, team. We have, uh, yeah, a little bit of this to squirt on here. Oh, yeah, we're doing good now, man. All right, let's do a test run here. Fly out over here. Hot Bronto action. Level 50. You think you got what it takes, homie? You can't handle the truth! Nail the ace that can't be stopped. XP for our tape jar. So I'm going to go ahead and make some more maps, and uh, then we're going to get some more of these crystals. Then we're going to open those guys up. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see what we get. Adolescent snow owls. 95% imprinting. The tape jar leveled up. 1,700 stamina stuff and things. I pulled out most of these guys. I did disable poop. I did disable regular eggs on this guy. So it won't pick up regular eggs and it won't pick up poop. It's still picking up uh, the regular crystals, I do believe. 
So we didn't need to do that before. Um, but I am running out of time. Oh, this is our test right here. Here it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure we just got that guy. He's done it. So I am running out of uh, time today a little bit. Oh, a dodo egg? You know what we're going to do right there? You know, Wait, you know what? I am going to keep these. I keep thinking I don't need to keep them. Enable eggs. We'll go ahead and keep any eggs. Because why wouldn't you? Um, so we have all these guys right here. We can go ahead and consume all. Whoa. Maybe we'll have to do it in the middle here. Oh, dude, we're not going to be able to move. We're not going to be able to move, I don't think. We're very close to high on weight. We're almost maxed out. There's 480. 840 black pearls, man. Definitely worth. Um, but it doesn't look to me like this guy is actually making as many of the regular of the uh, different kinds of crystals as he was before. I think maybe uh, the war maps aren't working quite as good. So let's go ahead. We'll consume that for 30 more of those. That bad ombre. 148%. Yeah, I mean, this guy we have is 298. So it's not really that great. Consume that bad ombre. 148. We're rocking the 180 armor right now just from the regular tech armor. 218%. Nah, not as good as my 327. What do we get? No! No, Riot Gauntlets. Oh, they're the worst. We can't use them. Ascendant Flat Gauntlet. 1,400 armor. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm going to keep this and this. We'll keep that. We'll keep all this stuff. Why wouldn't we? You know what I mean? And we're going to squirt that guy over inside of here. So, ladies and gentle peeps, that's going to be it for today. We got a lot of stuff and things done, man. Look at all our new guys, all our new stuff and things. And now, as this guy continues to eat, maps will automatically get squirted into our derp collector deal. Like so. Very exciting stuff and things. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget. Show your support. Smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the videos you see fit. Oh, oh, there we go. I'm right in the middle of it all. And may the stuff of things be with you. <laughs>